Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and just overall having a great day. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. Leave a comment. You might even want to turn on the notification bell if you want to be the first up to watch all of my glorious, glorious content, you can be. As you can tell, I have dyed my hair. My hair is a different colour. Not all of it, Just I just did the front bit pink. And then I kind of dyed the bottom bits blonde as well. I'm actually quite proud of myself because it's sort of ombre in a way-ish, kind of. I don't really know what I'm trying to do. But yeah, so my hair is a different colour. That is why I've done this sort of face of makeup. Wow. I'm not the best at makeup, but I did try my best, so don't hate me. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be feeding my pets. As of now, I have five animals, Pluto, Ducky, and then my rats, Taurus, Polo, and Shadow. So I'm gonna like briefly talk you through what I feed each animal. So I'll start with Pluto first. Pluto is my Pac-Man frog. I think it's a girl. I'm starting to think it's a girl, but I'm not actually sure because you can only really tell when they're grown up and mine is a baby, so I won't know for a while. So she eats a mixture of different things. She eats a mixture of crickets, pinkies, which are like small mice, and this, which is sort of like a pellet food you have to like soak it in water and um it sort of gets soft so it sort of looks like a worm and then the pac-man eat it this is just to sort of balance out the diet i kind of feel like all creatures in general are healthier the more balanced their diet is and this is supposed to be like sciencey and like have everything that they need in there so I, yeah i feed that as well and i'll show you guys the process watching pluto eat is actually one of the most fascinating things pac-man frogs are a sit and wait predator they live in the rainforest in south america and it's Essentially all they do is just bury themselves in the dirt like just with their eyes poking out and wait for prey to like walk across them and then they just like yeah they just eat them with their huge mouths that's why they got the name pac-man frog because they're literally just like a mouth and a belly that's all they do they don't do anything other than just like so yeah I hope you guys will enjoy the footage I have of her eating it's actually fascinating let's get to it So this is my Pac-Man frogs enclosure. Their name is Pluto, as you can tell. I hope you guys like my little name tag that I made. It's pretty basic, but oh well. So this is the cage. It's not got the best visibility, so you won't be able to see, well, okay. There is one of Pluto's eyes. <laughs> can you see that? Oh, won't focus. There you go. Um, next to that is where I keep all of my like feeding stuff. So obviously I've got the mister here, pellet food, my dusting cup that I put the crickets in, repti safe for the water, food for the crickets, and calcium dust powder with D3. And yeah, so this is where I keep the crickets. So today I feed, I usually feed Pluto, um, Four crickets once every other day, apart from when I feed them like a mouse or the pellet food. So today it is time for about four crickets. So this is Pluto's cage, just open, there is Pluto. I've only had Pluto about maybe a month now, but when I first got them, they were so much smaller, they've grown so much. Um, if you guys wanna check out the video of when I collected them, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy yet, you can check that out, I'll leave the link somewhere. And first of all, what I do is I grab my, I'll do it over here in the light, I grab my dust cup, tweezers at the ready, and I just grab one of these out, there should be some crickets in there. and throw them in there. And there's only two, which is annoying, so I'm gonna have to grab the other one. See if there's more in there. Oh, shit, oops. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys can see that, there is way too many in there. Um, I'm gonna have to put some back, so I'm just gonna pour some in here. Perfect, so there is about four in there, so I usually Dust them up a little bit. Nice. 
nice and dusty. And then all I do is just grab them and um, wave them in front of their face. And yeah, I'll show you guys what that consists of. Is that yummy? Yum! Have you swallowed it? Are you ready for the next one? <laughs> I don't know what to take that as. You're looking so big now, Pluto. You got it, grab him. Oh God. There you go. Good frog. Well done. That was a bit of a tense moment there. You ready for the last one? Oh, that was so quick. Well done. Yeah, you did it. That was great. That went very well. Pluto is all fed and done. And I'm just going to quickly mist down their cage and change their water. Oh, and I'm also gonna refeed the crickets with some bug grub and fill up their water as well. Next, I will go on to my rats. So rats diets are a little bit more complicated. There's a lot of debate about what they should and shouldn't eat. It's not completely like strict guidelines about what to feed them. So it's sort of up to the owner to sort of navigate it and choose what they think is best for their rats. Obviously there are some big no's and some obvious yeses. With my rats I feed them a range of dry food and wet food, like fresh food. So they eat their dry mix about four times a week and then their fresh food is sort of two to three times a week, depending on the week. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. The reason why you shouldn't feed fresh food every single day, which is kind of like the obvious choice, right? You kind of would assume that that's the healthiest thing for them. That's not true because a lot of fruits and vegetables are very high in water and um, they can give your rats diarrhea. So they do need dry food as well. So the fresh food that I give them is a huge range of things. It's sort of fruits and veg, but then sometimes I also like expect expand it more and give them like rice and pasta and some tuna and other types of fish. They really like chicken wings as well. They're not supposed to eat red meat, but they do like chicken. Um, giving your rats chicken bones is actually really good for them because they basically just completely devour the bones and it kind of turns into like this dust at the end and it's really good for their teeth to like gnaw it down. Yeah, chicken bones are a good treat, I guess. So in terms of their dry food, this is their dry food. This is what I keep it in. Obviously, all the oats have gone to the bottom, so I can't see them. But yeah, so this is a huge mix of different things. So in here right now, I have science selective 
wrap blocks um which are like again like the pac-man pellet food the sciencey food that's supposed to have all of the like nutrition so it's very important to have one of these i would highly recommend the science selective one it is far better than the other ones on the market the other ones it's not quite as healthy and the manufacturers haven't put as much effort into really like the science behind it basically so science selective are the best ones so in their dry mix i have those pasta some oats, oats are really good, Cheerios, dried mealworms, some dog food but only a low amount because they're not supposed to have much protein in their diet. And then every week it sort of like changes a little bit when this runs out. I might put like a little bit more of this or a bit less of that just to like switch up a little bit. Right now I do have some popcorn in there. So I do give them popcorn. Popcorn is a really good treat for rats. Yeah, just a whole bunch of different things. I always Google first what's okay for them to eat and what isn't. And obviously I won't give them anything if it's not okay for them. Oh, they really like egg as well. They like really enjoy egg. You can't give rats like bread by the way, anything too high in wheat. And obviously you can't give them any like really processed sugary things like Coca-Cola or like chocolate. That's kind of obvious though, right? So that is my rat. Do is grab the rat's food bowl. Oh, and I just spilled a load of rice everywhere. Oh well. <laughs> there is someone there. So that is the rat's bowl and next I'm going to grab my hamster's bowl. And onto my hamster ducky, I again give her a fresh diet and a dry diet. So I give her fresh food once a week and the dry food which is in here. This is her main diet. Um, it is a mixture between, I think it's Harry's hamster seed mix and um, science selective rat blocks. The main sort of thing that people tend to give their hamsters is a seed mix. This is actually quite an unhealthy diet because seeds, like as nice as they are and as kind of an obvious hamster food as they are, they're quite high in fat and they don't actually provide like a lot of the nutrition that the hamster needs. So I'd highly recommend looking to get like a pellet food and a seed mix and fresh food for your hamster. Uh, in the future, I do have plans to add some like seed mix into the rat's diet as well, just for like a little treat. They can eat seeds as well. They like it, but it can't be a full diet. So in terms of the fresh food, she can eat less than what the rats can. The rats can basically eat anything. I usually give her a mix of like cucumber, bananas, apples, some berries every now and again. I don't give her like lettuce or leaves because it's basically nothing. There's like nothing there. It's not very nutritious. Oh, and carrots as well. So yeah, that's what I feed my hamster ducky. So here is my hamster cage. This is usually what I keep her mix of different stuff in here. And her food bowl is over there. She is here. Hi, ducky. Hi. She's extremely untamed. I literally can't hold her. She's so skitty, scarish. She's terrified. And she bites as well, so that sucks. I'm giving you some food, Ducky. So the rest of what's here, because it's her time of the week to get fresh food, so I'm just gonna scatter that back into her cage. And make some fresh food for Ducky. So as you guys can tell, I do use the same bowls for my rats and my hamster. I honestly think these are like the cutest items that I have for my pets. I bought them on Amazon and I will share the link somewhere on where to get these. They are perfect size for each species and yeah, I just love these bowls so much. <laughs> so obviously hamsters and rats have a slightly different, well more than slightly, they have a different diet so obviously they can, can't eat different things to each other. So I'm not gonna give them the same food. I'm gonna give them some of the same things. Like I will give them both banana and some 
cucumber, but then I'll be giving obviously the rats a lot more different stuff than I would ducky. So I've given Ducky and the rats apples, cucumbers and bananas. So this is enough for Ducky, she's only little. I'm not gonna give her any more than that. And for the rats, I also give some sweet corn. This is quite unhealthy by the way, so there's a lot of sugar in here, a lot of fruit, so I don't give them this all the time. This is just like twice in a week I'd give this kind of thing. So as well as the fruit and the vegetables for the rats, I also sometimes give some tuna. I give them this like occasionally and they really like it so. Taurus is always at the bars when he knows I have food. He always gets really excited. Hi! I think the others know that something's going on. I don't know where they are. Yeah, so I usually just place the bowl over here. Yeah, and watch them go to town. The lighting is so bad, I'm so sorry. And they usually store their food like <laughs> although not as much if it's fresh food but yeah so that's the rats as you can tell ducky knows it's food time dinner time that is usually where her food bowl is and um yeah i think she knows something is up you need to get some food ducky yummy food You're so crazy, hi. All right, let's get your food for you. So yeah, Ducky is usually at the front and um, as you can tell, she's on the door. So usually it's a bit of a battle to get the food to the spot without her running out. She's a pretty manic hamster. I do free range her as much as I can, but she's still pretty crazy. Um, I bought her a much better wheel, so at least she can run a lot better. But yeah, so it's a bit of a race to open the door, put the food bowl, and stop her from escaping. And it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. See, look, she's literally... <laughs> it's gonna be more of a challenge with one hand. Ducky, do you wanna... Do you wanna maybe go away? Come on. Go on. Good girl. Okay, nope. Let's do this. Did it. Sorry, babe. There's food. Go get your food. Go get it. Yummy apple! Oh my god, you're so hungry. Why are you so hungry? There was food in your bowl. <laughs> She's not even storing any. She usually just packs it all in her thing. Hi. What are you going to go for next? Some banana? That banana. Oh, you're loving the apple today. Why? How funny is it filming a hamster from this angle? Like, makes them look so big. <laughs> but they're so small. Is that yummy? The bowl's as big as you. Bye. 
So thank you so much for watching guys. Please, like I said, subscribe if you like what you see. And um, I put new videos out at least once a week. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's a little bit less. But yeah, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.